Well, you wondered what's going on in Hollywood. We're watching a lot of actors and singers on social media do their thing. So we brought our Hollywood guy, our Beyond TV correspondent, Patrick Stinson, better known as P. Stinney, on all social media. <laughs> Patrick, nice to see you. Oh, thank you very, very much for having me, Carlos. Now, so you, been, you watch all things Hollywood. You were just with Ostriches doing the Jumanji thing. I mean, you get, you get around the, the Hollywood scene quite a bit. It's really interesting to see how Hollywood has responded to this crisis. Yeah, you know, it's cool. It's like, uh, like all the mom and pop organizations out there, restaurants and bars, Hollywood has basically come to a screeching halt. But there is still stuff out there. So the, I, I found that when you put a whole bunch of creative people alone in their homes, you're going to get a lot of creative content for uh, the world to kind of consume. And that's really what's happening right now. Yeah, like, I, for example, I'm drawn to the musician, so I listen to Chris Martin play the piano, uh, Neil Diamond playing the guitar, you know, hands, washing hands, reaching out, don't touch me. I mean, it was hilarious. I love that. Songs a little bit, yeah. The Chris Martin thing is part of a new hashtag called Together at Home, and it's really, uh, it's a virtual concert series that is put together by Global Citizen and the World Health Organization and a whole bunch of celebrities. Like you said, uh, Chris Martin did one, Charlie Puth did one, Common also uh, performed, and John Legend and Chrissy Teigen performed as well. And I gotta tell you, it's really a cool way for the, the celebrities, the musicians, the stars to kind of interact and connect with their fans in, a, in kind of like, in a way that we've never done before. Because if you watch the John Legend one, you'll notice that Chrissy Teigen is wearing a towel. Um, and at the top of the concert, John announces that he is not wearing pants. He says he, he is wearing uh, underwear, but no pants. And that's because the audience voted for what they thought they should wear, and they abided by the audience vote. So uh, John Legend, legend, no pants, Chrissy Teigen, a towel. And that's what the fans wanted. Well, not to be outdone by John Legend, but neither one of us are wearing pants, so that's just, you know, let's just go say it. Say You're it. not supposed to tell that. That's why this is a media yeah. That's right. All right, so uh, the other thing that we're doing a lot of is, is binge watching. I mean, Hollywood production is ground to a halt because no one's making movies or TV shows, but the stuff that's out there is really cool. What are you seeing? What kind of trends are you seeing? Um, well, so a lot of movies were, that were about to be released got pushed to uh, later this year or next year. Uh, but then some were just released and then, you know, COVID-19 hits and nobody can go to the theater. And some were just about to be released and they're not getting pushed. They are getting pushed to like the home uh, theater market. So you have a lot of different movies now, which will be available either right now or in the next few days uh, that uh, you can watch at home that typically you would have to go to the theater to watch. You can either watch it uh, via your cable subscriber or you can watch it uh, in a download kind of situation or on some, some of the streaming giants like Amazon Prime, uh, Hulu, um, and... Uh, I'm a big uh, Netflix guy. Because like uh, Invisible Man, you can now watch that at home. The Invisible Man with Elizabeth Moss. Uh, Blood Sport, Blood Shot, I should say. Blood Shot with Vin Diesel. I think the title kind of tells you what that's about. Yeah, uh, there's blood and there's Vin Diesel. That is now, was going to be released, is now available for uh, home viewing. Um, the Way Back, remember that one with uh, Ben Affleck? Like it was, it got a lot of buzz right before everything shut down. Um, and now it's available uh, via uh, your couch. You can watch that. And then also like for the kids, there's um, Onward, uh, the Pixar movie with Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, and also coming very soon, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog with Jim Carrey. Oh, so a lot of stuff is available at home now. But you know what's, what's really crazy, Patrick? No. <laughs> These end of the world movies are like, they're starting to, they're trending, like, you know, the, oh, yeah, Earth, Earth, the, the, whatever the earthquake movie was and the, and the asteroid movies and the pandemic movies, I mean, it, and Netflix has been rating them, and they're like the top three are all end of the world movies. I don't, I don't know what that means about us, but yeah, I'm, I'm here for all of it. <laughs> it's funny to see our friends playing newscasters in those movies and wondering, now they're living it for real. Like, this is, this is not a real life. This is not a film. But I, got, I like all the stuff that's happening because you've got to take a break from that stuff. You have to take a break from all of the uh, nonstop COVID-19 reporting. I mean, it's just too much is too much. So take a break, enjoy a little Vin Diesel shooting up stuff. Enjoy like a concert with John Legend and you know, just kind of like 
take yourself a mental break, even though you're stuck at home. Yeah. So uh, what kinds of things have you been doing? What kind of things have you been watching? Uh, okay. You're going to think I'm weird, but I just found out, I just found out that all of the episodes of The French Chef with Julia Child. Yes. Are now available on Amazon and PBS Passport. So I literally started watching those yesterday. Um, it starts in her black and white days back in 1963, maybe. I mean, she was, she's literally the very first celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. And you make a soft boiled egg. Boy, I had to it. It was kind of fascinating to watch. I started watching, I watched two or three episodes. I learned how to uh, make French uh, onion soup. So I'm good to go. Um, I love those cooking shows. I actually love watching them and learn something every single day from them. Absolutely. And I mean, think about it, like she's doing this in the 60s, like the way it's kind of uh, evolved now, like you go back and watch that and you see how it's really done. But it's weird. it is weird to see food being cooked in uh, black and white, because I'm like, I don't know what color my, my steak is not supposed to be gray, uh, but hers is. So you gotta, you gotta do a little mental adjusting to your time. Okay, bon appetit. All right, Patrick, well listen, uh, you hang in there. We'll keep checking back in with you to see what's going on in the scene in, in Hollywood. But for now, it looks like everyone's taking it in stride and we're moving forward. So thanks so much for joining us and continue on with your uh, Beyond TV correspondence. We love having you on board and part of the family. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, my friend.